today as it's still lockdown I'm continuing my wanderings through London parks and today I'm taking you to Battersea Park it has different entrances and um, this is the entrance closest to Battersea Park station it's a beautiful sunny day it's the end of winter But it's nice finally in London. <laughs> and as you can see, there is loads of people out. Let's go and explore. Love the blue sky. Have the usual problem. The more people there are. The harder it is to film. <laughs> but let's see what we can see today. This is one of the larger parks of London. If I remember correctly from the stuff I read, it's, oops, I think 200 acres of Greenland. Well, green area. Uh, had to stop because there was a big, big noise from a show off motorbike <laughs> and we are still fairly close to the main road. Anyway, uh, this park is also south of the River Thames, just like the one we saw a couple of weeks ago. It's um, a Victorian park and it's been opened, I think, in 1858. There is a lot to see. Um, I'm going to try and sum it up the best I can. We are near a pond and under a big beautiful plane tree. I love these trees. In every season they are just gorgeous. Look at that. And the sky is gorgeous. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to put more info in the description but uh, just a few little things that I remember reading about it is that the whole park area was created uh, from reclaimed marshlands from the Thames and uh, there also used to be um, gardens that they would use for markets and stuff before so and also it used to be known as Better Sea Fields and it used to be a popular place for dueling <laughs> and there was a famous duel here uh, at, I don't know, early 1800s a few years after the Battle of Waterloo when the Duke of Wellington and the Earl of uh, Winchester had a duel <laughs> to settle a matter of honour would have loved to see that. <laughs> the conqueror and another politician shooting at each other. Well, okay, I'll stop mumbling and walk further. Just came across some bushes. It's a very large lake. We'll be walking around it. There's a lot of vegetation on this side. And this is a nice spot. Mm -hmm. You can see it goes in different direction. I think normally it's a boating lake, but obviously that's not something we can do now. Plants are already growing and new flowers. There's various art installations and monuments throughout the park. This one is called Single Form and is dedicated to Deck Hammer's Cured by Barbara Hepworth. It was done in the early 60s. Let's see the pond. Lovely reflection. Pretty. Okay. 
You can see a solitary Egyptian goose there. Oh, you are pretty with your little red book. You know what this is? But it looks beautiful. Oops, the light is not good. The usual plant creatures, swans, more hands. There's a heron there as well. I don't know if you can see it. Just there. And all sorts of ducks. These cute little ones. I forget what they are called. And I think it has one of the largest populations of coots I've ever seen. It was on the other side a while ago. I'll go and see that side too. And here we go. Welcome to Kutland. Well, you've only seen two. But I'm not certain of their number, but I estimate that there's at least a hundred of them on this pond. And a while ago, when I've been here, some of them were having some massive fights <laughs> for territory, for females, what not. Hello. Now they seem to be all settled, but there will be little mini videos of the coots gone wild, <laughs> so check those out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> but this is nothing. They can really, really fight. It's a beautiful sight. And up in the distance, I can see some cormorants up there. Uh, I don't know. I can't zoom any further. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna go on because there's a lot to see. And I'll come back to take some shorter videos later. I just had to stop and do a closer coot shot, and off you go. <laughs> There's a lot of green already and flowers. Oops. More plants that are already blooming. It smells amazing. I'm not sure what this is. I will have to look it up. Yeah, it's very large. Most of the pond is all fenced up, so you can't really get close to it. But I've spotted in different parts nests in the making. And you can hear beautiful bird song everywhere. Lovely. And here's another little coot. Hello. Okay, we've arrived to a section which is called the Subtropical Gardens. And there's some facts about it. I don't know if that's legible, but you can pause and read it if you wish. Let's see what is there. I can see some little crocuses. They're in the shade. They're really pretty. 
I hope to see more flowers. But there should be a lot of palm trees and bamboo and all sorts. So let's go explore. Well, everything looks a bit ruggedy now. As I said, we are still at the end of winter in London. But I'm sure that in a few months, when everything's refreshed, they will be looking beautiful. Look at that. If you wouldn't know where I am and I only show you this photo, well, this particular <laughs> sequence of the film you can imagine I'm somewhere very warm with blue skies, palm trees and the piña colada <laughs> oh well one can dream it's lovely there's some daffodils there I found the tiny monkey puzzle. <laughs> so cute. Very interesting. Can't get close to it as much as I'd like. Because it's in the middle of a planted section. But look at it. Beautiful. Well, I can only imagine that in the 19th century when these palm trees and this whole section was put together it must have been quite a marvel for folk who didn't really get to travel outside the country to get to see these different splendid beauties Now let's get lost in the bamboo. <laughs> that. Pretty plant. I'm on the shady side. Move. Okay. Came to the sunny side. And I came across a little hill full of beautiful crocuses of different colors, shades, sizes, types probably. Look at that! Wow! So beautiful. I want to walk amongst them because they're fairly close together. I want to trample on any of these beauties. Let's zoom on you guys. Lovely. There's some yellow ones as well further down there. Spring is in the air. Ha ha ha. The park has different sports areas, football pitches, hockey, cricket I think, tennis courts and all sorts. So we are near one of the football ones. And I'm gonna go towards the middle. Not on this path, but on that one. I think it leads towards the middle. Let's see what's there. But before I go, I just remembered, for those who like football, a fun fact that this park was the park that hosted the first exhibition football game that was played under the rules of the FA in 1864 on the 9th of January I'm not sure if that was a very good day but as far as weather goes but I assume they all had a ball okay this path I chose I think it leads towards the center and we can see a bent stand there. There we go, you can see it in its entirety. It's pretty. 
I have no idea when was the last time that a band played here and it's surrounded by the plane trees. <laughs> Okay, we got to an area which I think it's called the Festival Gardens. Uh, there's a lot to see, so I'm gonna be walking now that way to the right. But here, sadly, the water fountains are not working now because it's a beautiful display otherwise. But not today. Yeah, so you can see those four towery things in the distance that the old Battersea power station. Uh, people enjoying the day in the park. <laughs> well, some people like it. Let's peek over. Mm -hmm. It's a more manicured part. And I'm gonna take you there to that thing in front of us. It's called the Peace Pagoda. I'll tell you about it as we walk there. I like these stones on the side. Peekaboo! Following the stone decorations, we got to a beautiful massive plane tree. Oh, look, it's full of fresh ivy. Well, let's look at it properly. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous. And we got closer to the Peace Pagoda. I'm gonna go up there. It's been looked after daily by a Buddhist monk and this one I think is one of 80 peace pagodas from around the world which were originally built um, as monuments to inspire peace. The founder of a new Buddhist uh, order, which name I don't recollect. A guy from Japan was inspired to pursue a life of um, promoting non-violence after he met Gandhi in, I don't know, in the 1930s. So after the war, Second World War passed and stuff, he started building these peace pagodas in different parts of the world. So. Different cities have them. Okay. I'm loving the color of the sky today. Oh, 
found another statue of Buddha sitting in a lotus flower. third one and the fourth one this one is a sleeping position and from this we can go down by the Thames Beautiful river Thames. So I'm gonna walk down there for a bit. I love walking by the river. And here we are. To the left, it's the Albert Bridge. That one. That's beautifully illuminated in the night usually. It's quite a funky bridge doesn't look like much now and to the right it's Battersea Bridge oh. zoom in please okay. as I said there's quite a few people out today. I think we are all stuck of being in the house all day long. All day long. In the meantime, I walk to a place where there's a herb garden. But surprise, surprise, it's closed. So I'm just staring at more beautiful crocuses. Look at them. And if you think those were nice, here we go. We just landed into crocus heaven. <laughs> There's thousands of them, so beautiful. So pretty. A shady side, but I just wanted to get a few closer. Oh, you are so gorgeous, all of you! Look at that! <laughs> and there's a pretty wind wind up there with a rooster. <laughs> I found a couple of little blossoming, I think they are ornamental cherries or something of the sort. Look at it! <laughs> so pretty! Focus please! Camera! Be good! You want to see things properly. Look at those lovely blossoms! Wow! You would really think spring is already here, it's coming. But we have been tricked before many times. If the lovely weather comes, the freeze. <laughs> I hope that's not the scenario for this year. Wow. And I found something else that's blooming. Let's look at you. I think it's a type of quince of sorts. Hey, there we go. Pretty. And this is the entrance to the old English garden. Let's go in. It's 
really pretty. And I expect that in summer it's gonna look even more beautiful when everything is blooming. Let's have a little wonder. This must be lovely when it's overrun by wines hanging nicely. Look at that. Pretty! And the small water fountain that's actually working. stems are very short because <laughs> I didn't have time to grow but they're blooming already. Oh, lovely. And in the background maybe you can hear it. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> it's the best statement we can have for this year. Hmm? And you can't have an English garden without a sundial. Here we go. Ta -da. I hope you can see it because I actually can't see what I'm filming. <laughs> the sun is in my eyes. And there is a blue and purple flower patch here and I found some little violets. Now can we film it properly? There's violets. I forgot what these ones are called. And obviously more crocuses. This is a lovely patch. So we just exited the old English garden. <laughs> I don't know if you can spot a little friend. A rosary and parakeet. There's a few of them here as well. Okay, you can have a better view here of the Pleasure Gardens area. We were on the other side, I don't know, some time ago. As I said, the water fountains are not working now, otherwise, it would be a beautiful display. <laughs> Still beautiful there. I wanted to show you one of the wider walks. With old style lamps. They're so cute. Some more interesting facts about the park. That in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, there used to be a permanent funfair with all sorts of swings and wooden roller coasters and stuff and sadly i think if i remember correctly in 1972 there was a horrible accident with the roller coaster called the big dipper and five children were killed 13 others injured or 12 others i'm not sure and that obviously led to the closure of the roller coaster and then a couple of years later to the farm fair because it fell into disrepute so no more farm fair today there is a small children's zoo we are just getting close to it obviously it is closed <laughs> now so i'll come back in a few months time when we are free again to see things and visit things and I want to see what creatures are here. I know that there are meerkats, which I love, just like everybody else. So I'll come back and I'll show you. And there we are. It's down there. But closed at the moment. 
and from pink and purple blooms to white ones. Look at that. Seriously, I'm just amazed at how everything started blooming out of a sudden. Let's have a look at you pretties. So lovely. And I'm repeating myself, but the color of the sky today is just so beautiful. <laughs> Some interesting conversations from Pesso boys. <laughs> oh. Look at that. That's nice. Little nicely planted. We're in an area of a little kiosk where you can buy plants. There's all sorts. But I stopped here because we are under a eucalyptus tree. Look! Just love beautiful bark <laughs> of the eucalyptus. And also I was stopped because I am stopping today's wandering here. Well, at least the filming. The wandering continues. Hope you enjoyed this wandering through Battersea Park. If you're in London, I recommend you come and visit it. There's much more to see, but the gallery and some other things are all closed now. So it's pointless to go there. Wish you all a lovely day and a really good week ahead. And until the next wandering which I'm not quite sure where it's gonna be. <laughs> Cheerio! Bye everyone!